Hi and welcome to Hoxton Therapy. This is a narration of one of our articles. Living with depression. It is difficult to explain depression to people who have never experienced it before. Some people living with depression see it as a heaviness or carrying of a backpack full of rocks, trying to man over your, your everyday moves with heavy heights. There are therapists who say there is a way to live without coping. Those living with depression realize that it is important to try and get through their condition. Depression has a lot of psychological effects on those who have it. So what are the upsides of depression? Some of the upsides of depression is that it can be treated. It can be managed and controlled well. Treatment and recovering is very possible. A man with depression once described it, described it as living life with a 50 ton weight on your back. Whilst I want to get up and get going, I often feel as though I cannot do this. A woman once described depression as some of my life had been taken away from me. The four years I once had will never return. Once a person has been formally diagnosed with severe depression, they may be happy to know that they have been given a name for the emotional pain that they have been enduring. Some people may feel somewhat overwhelmed about the treatment they have they are about to have. The good news is that some people have gone through this before. Others have got through it successfully. It has been found that 10 to 25% of women and 5 to 12% of men will be diagnosed with severe depression at some point in their life. Whilst it might feel like recovery is too hard, please know that depression is something that can be managed and treated. It can be controlled. Not only that, but a person's life and overall mood will improve much quicker than what they might think at first. We have provided some information as at what is often discussed and dealt with during treatment time. We have also come up with a few things you can do to make your treatment plan powerful and successful. Common misconceptions about living with depression and its treatment. Whilst many people out there experience depression, there are still a number of misconceptions that people believe. Some of these misconceptions include toughen up and accept it. All of us should understand that depression is not something that is natural. It is also not a punishment for the way we live. It is a condition that people do not have to toughen up and accept. There are ways of dealing with it and learning how to manage it. The depression will not just go away. Those living with depression often tend to believe that their condition will never go away. They think their symptoms of inability, lack of concentration, fatigue, lack of interest and irritability will hang around forever. They think that the help out there will not do anything for them. Thankfully though, there is a powerful treatment approach that can be used. Those with this condition can seek help and support. It will go away. If a person living with depression does not treat their condition, they will begin to think that it will go away by itself. This will only leave the person with the condition for much longer than it should. There is also a greater chance that the person with depression will commit suicide. Getting depression diagnosed. Before seeking treatment for depression, it is very important that the condition is formally diagnosed first. Getting it formally diagnosed will mean that you will be able to get, get the right sort of treatment. Diagnosis will involve a very tough, thorough evaluation of the condition. A person will re be required to have an interview. During the interview, or in other words, an assessment, they will be asked for a large number of different questions. This will usually be about the stresses that they have and what symptoms they are experiencing. The person will also be required to fit out a thorough survey as well as, as well as an assessment about suicide. The person's doctor may also get them to go and get some blood tests that can help determine whether or not they have depression. Letting others know about your condition. There are a number of people who do not know whether or not they should let other know, others know about their condition. This of course will, de will depend on how intimate an individual is with those they mix with and communicate with. Family members and relatives should know more about others you may not feel as close to. There are going to be times when some people will think that they can give you ideas on what you can do to help fix it. In response to this, you can simply tell these people that you are seeking assistance or you are working on what it is that you are going through. These responses should at least let people know that they do not need to suggest things for you to do. If you are one unfortunate person living with depression, you do not need to know that it is difficult to deal with. 
Low moods will hang around for a lengthy amount of time. These moods are very different to sadness. Such moods will have an effect on your life every day, not just occasionally. Most people living with depression will also find that they no longer appreciate or enjoy activities they once enjoyed. Some will simply want to stay in bed all day. Others might be able to hide their condition and continue on with the everyday jobs that they have done before. Not only is living with depression hard on the person who is dealing with it, but it can also be difficult for those they see and interact with every day. Most people with the condition will not seek assistance early on. They will let the condition continue for as long as possible before they go about seeking that assistance that they desperately need. Some people will think that they feel like they cannot control themselves. They may also be afraid of being ridiculed or rejected. How can we tell if we have depression? Most people are too afraid to seek assistance to work out whether or not they may be experiencing this condition. If you are finding it hard to deal with emotions that cannot be managed, then chances are support and assistance of some kind will help you greatly. All of us deserve and can be helped, supported and valued. It, is, it does not matter how difficult or how you see the issues you are experiencing. In order to get help and support, it is important to have a chat with your professional doctor. They will be able to provide some suggestions to you as to what you can do. They may well be able to refer you onto a counsellor or provide some medication or get you to go and have some psychotherapy for a while. Understand that no person is exactly the same. Everybody will require different support for their various needs. What does depression feel like? When experiencing depression, it will often feel like you are not worth it to yourself or to anybody. You will often feel like you do not want to live. Feelings of worry, anxiety may be experienced. You may find yourself crying more than what you normally would. A lack of concentration on the activities you would normally be able to concentrate on. Not being able to decide what to do about such and such. Those living with depression will also often feel like they cannot tolerate other people. They will feel irritable and themselves with others. These people will not enjoy life as much as they once did. Their self-esteem levels may drop drastically. They may, they may feel guilty more than they would more than they should. Those with depression will also not be motivated or interested in things that they once loved to do. Some other things that may occur might include not being able to sleep well as you once did. You may either sleep too much or too little. The way you eat will change. You may either eat far too much or far too little. Much less energy and tiredness will be experienced often. Stomach aches or headaches will often occur regularly. Chronic pain of all sorts might be felt. It, it is also possible you may not even to speak as good as you once did. Menstrual cycles might start to change. Interests and hobbies will be placed aside and forgotten about. Isolation from those you know well may make you not want to see them. You will not want to go to as many social activities as you once did. Productivity at work or in general will gradually begin to disappear. It is possible that we as individuals will not even know that we have been showing signs of depression. Depression is something that can take its time to creep in sometimes weeks, sometimes months, or even sometimes years. There are times when others will recognize it in, in you and you will have to be there, be the one to tell you that you are experiencing depression. Sometimes depression can start from one negative thought about ourselves. Those negative thoughts can very quickly become too much. As a result of this, you will, f you will feel despair. You may even find yourself feeling miserable far too often. What makes us become too depressed? There are times where it is very easy to work out what has caused us to become depressed, but there are also times when it is too hard to identify what has caused it. This is, a, this is because we are feeling very down about ourselves and about life. Perhaps it is because a loved one has passed away, or perhaps it is because you are angry, frustrated, or disappointed about something that has occurred. There is always something that has caused us to become depressed. This, of course, will be different for everybody. Some of the reasons why someone may find themselves depressed may include the following. Grief. 
It is only natural that we feel down and upset about someone or a loved one that has passed away. Whilst the actual loss itself is not the only thing that can cause depression, but it is also how we go about dealing with this. Grief is something that has to be dealt with correctly, otherwise we are sure to find ourselves living with depression, experiencing what we had as a child. Experiences that we have when we are a child can play a major part in causing depression. Perhaps we went through a divorced parents or a car accident. Maybe we were abused emotionally or physically. Not all children are taught how to deal with problems that come into their lives. This can result in problems when we become older. Anger. Anger that we have built up over years can lead to depression. Perhaps somebody has done something to get us feeling angry constantly. When this occurs, it is possible to not deal with anger at the time this, ha this issue happened. This particular anger can remain inside us for a very long time. Before we know it, we will find ourselves living with depression. Always make sure that we deal with anger in the correct way and at times it can happen. General circumstances. Some general circumstances that can lead to depression include not having anybody to talk to regularly, stress, exhaustion or loneliness, social media. Getting onto social media too much can result in depression, especially if we find ourselves looking at the lives of other people and comparing our lives to theirs. All of us have very different lives and circumstances in them. Illnesses. There are a range of different illnesses that can provide a contribute in resulting in this condition. Some of these conditions may include the following. Conditions that threaten our life, such as cancer or heart disease. Viral infections, such as flu or glandular fever. Illnesses that go on for a long period of time or that are painful, such as arthritis. Hormonal difficulties, such as thyroids, that are not as active as they should be. Too much alcohol. Too much alcohol can lead to, a, to heavy drinking. Not only will this have an effect on your physical health, but it is very likely to lead to depression. Alcohol does not fix things as we would like to think. It only makes things so much worse. There are many different types of depression that a person can be diagnosed with. There is no one size fits all. Some of the different types of depression include the following. Seasonal affective disorder. This is something that relates to the amount of days somebody experiences depression. People will often get this form of depression during the colder seasons when the days are not as long as during the warmer summer seasons. Once the days start to get longer and brighter, the symptoms will usually start to go away. Postnatal depression. Postnatal depression will occur in women who have recently given birth to children. This can often take place anywhere from two weeks or two years after they have given birth. Mild depression. This type of depression will involve the symptoms having a small effect on an individual everyday life. An individual will likely find themselves low in spirit and mood on a regular basis. These people will not want to do what they do things that they usually do enjoy. Bipolar disorder. Bipolar disorder is discovered when a person is having a large number of lows and highs in their life. If they cannot achieve these tasks, they will soon to begin to find themselves experiencing depression that is severe. There are a large number of different types of therapies that can help those living with depression. Some of those particular therapies may include the following. Interpersonal therapy, cognitive therapy, art therapy, mindfulness therapy, and psychodynamic therapy. Each of these therapies focus on their own specific methods for specific depression conditions. Group therapy is also a great type of therapy worth considering if you are living with depression. Hi, we hope you enjoyed that narration of one of our articles on our website, hoxtontherapy.com. Um, as usual, we have our podcast, which answers your question, and the name of the podcast is the Ask Hoxton Therapy Show. You can ask us questions on social media and we will answer those questions in upcoming either video content and of course when our video content is done, um, our podcast content audio is done as well. So stay safe out there, it's COVID-19 at the moment. Till next time, goodbye. Never act on any advice given in these articles, videos or audios. Always seek professional help before acting on anything you read or watch or listen to on this website or in our podcast or on our YouTube channel or anywhere on our social media.